Hi there. Hope you're doing great. Now, in this lecture, we will show you how automation actually works in real life. Now, for example, if you have CRM application and you need to fill the data on a daily basis and the target is huge, then you're doing the same task again and the repetitive task again and again. That means the first case completed the second case, the second case completed third case. So there is no change. You are following the same rule and you are following the same condition again and again and you do the same task. So if I am doing the same task again and again, then why am I not creating a bot so that it can do the job for me? So for example, let me show you. I have dummy shared application. Let me run it and I need to fill all these data one by one. This is my dummy shared application and I have the Excel file also where I have the input. Now, if I need to fill all these data, first name, last name, gender and all the fields in my shared application. So, after filling it with single data, all I need to do is I need to save it and the data will be saved in background. The data will be saved in the background SQL server or maybe Oracle server or maybe another database server and the same. And after that, you need to clear the fields. And again, you need to follow the same things. So if I create a bot and if I train the bot like the same way you're doing, then it can be automated, the tasks. Right. So I have created a task or I have created a bot in UiPath. So let me close this Excel file and we will run this tool. So to check that. Now if you see that the Excel file, I have marked few rules with color. That means I have given a condition where the salary is greater than 50,000 then this data should be filled up in the background server with this tool. So I have created a bot that means in UiPath. And first we will open the application and then it will store the data, Excel data in the data table. And from there, it will fill the data in the application. And when the job will be completed, it will close the application. So let me close this Excel file. And let me run this. We can press F5. Now it has automatically opened the application. First, it is clearing all the fields. It has opened the Excel file. Now in that clearing, I have checked another one because of safety. And you can see either male or female. It is now filling up one by one. Now think about human activity one by one. Copy, paste, copy, paste, etc. And the data is already taken by the bot. And this is working really faster. And this is the second one. And when the task is completed, it is written over in Excel file. That is complete. So it can easily track that it's, you know, there is a problem or we need to do it manually or something like this. So you can track it quick, easily. So it will fill up the data one by one and it will be more faster than human activity. And it will again help you or help the organization to run the processes more smoothly and as it the tool is running there are no errors that means suppose for example if the copied home number or maybe by mistake i can copy the work phone number and paste over there but as the tool is doing this task there's no point in doing mistake and another one thing that after completing the job the data is placed on a centralized location placed in a centralized location and that is very helpful for the organization that's because it will give them the data visualization or it will help them to analyze the data and they can plan for it with this data what actually they want to do so automation is all the time very very helpful and if it is the same kind of task, if you're following the same rules, the same guidance, if the bot can be trained with this rule, 
then we should go for the automation where it will help us to maintain the data and it will, you know, make no mistakes and data is actually centralized. And the advantage is that there is solid data in the backend and you will get after doing this. There is no manual activity. So complete and you can see how long it has taken. Probably 2 minutes to fill up the data. Now if you think that if you do it manually, only one single case it will take, not more than 1 minute. Now let me show you how I have prepared it. If you open the application, so it is open my shared application. And then manually the same task I am doing, down, down and then press enter, right? So if I open my application, click on the file tab, then down, down. That means 3 down, then clear the fields. Then again, go back to flowchart and data entry. And you can see, I have taken the Excel file. And from there, I am reading the range of this Excel file. Then there is a loop for each row. So, if, my, if I have kept this data table, I have taken this all the data in this data table. And for each row, I am checking now, I have taken all this. First name, last name, gender, all this I have already taken. In variable. And then, after that, I have edited any condition. If my salary is more than 50,000, then you just do this thing. Else, you don't have to do anything. So if salary is 50,000, then it is now checking. And then, you can see first name, last name, gender, checking, address, cities, state, zip, phone, home, work phone, personal email and all the things. And again, it is checking whether the active is yes or not. If active is yes, then click on this active box. Or otherwise leave it. So in this way, automation actually works. Now you can understand how actually automation works in our real life. Now we will show you more example of automation in later lectures. Hope you liked this lecture or video. So see you then. Thanks for watching.